I think the by far the most common DM I get is hey Joe how do I start making beats? You know, it's like, it seems like a long road. It's gonna be a hard road. How do I do it? Help me! Okay, I think I finally got an answer. Like, I've always recommended all the softwares I've used in the past, but finally, somebody has hit me up saying, hey, we got a new beat software that I think will get people to stop playing video games all day and binge watching shows and actually let their creative juices flow. And that's gonna be with Serato Studio. And the only reason I'm doing this is because Serato rhymes with Nato. That's not true. No, well it is true, but that, that's not why I'm doing this. I was like, look, I wanna try out the program first. Let's see if it's legit. And then if it is, then yeah, I'll show my audience the software and wow. This is gonna be really easy to use. I'm excited about it. It's got quality sounds. It's not no rink-a-dink type of thing going on here. So I think the best way to do this is actually for me to just show you how, how easy it is to just make a quick beat in Serato Studio and then you could literally get your music career started or that at least a journey started. Look, when you open up the program, you're, you see right here, new beat, new DJ edit. And why it says that is because Serato is uh, actually really known for their DJ products and DJ software. Software. So it's kind of cool that now they're tapping into making beat making software so you can make instrumentals and make something custom That's a win. <laughs> so all right new beat you could make a new beat with the template hip-hop trap house EDM dance hall. It doesn't stop there. I think there's even like rock in there dubstep reggae Oh my goodness. We're not gonna do a template though. We're just gonna start from scratch because we're adventurous like that so what you see right off the bat is you can set the BPM and the key of the track. You can actually set the key. So it's almost impossible to make a sonically bad sounding beat with this program because most people when they're starting out and making beats, they have no music theory knowledge or they they just don't know what they're doing going into it. I got checked about that um, a long time ago and it's changed everything ever since. I was making chords that didn't make sense and the 808s wouldn't mesh right with the instruments I would choose and it just was it was just bad okay but if everything is in key and it forces you to be in key everything will sonically sound good which is gonna save you and your listeners <laughs> a headache let's go to like my favorite tempo range which is like 90 something let's go 91 and C minor yeah that's a pretty common key I think that I play in. Also, I have like equipment behind me that I could use like this keyboard for example. I could plug that in and use that but I don't want to for this video because you could use Serato Studio on your laptop anywhere. You're waiting to get on a plane to pull out your laptop and make a beat. You, you could be on the plane, you could pull out your laptop and make a beat. You don't need all this equipment and everything. Some headphones so you could hear what's going on, some decent headphones, your laptop. That's it. You could be, I, I don't, necessarily condone this. Well, actually, I kind of do. And I've seen people do this. You could be in the classroom and just pull out your laptop, Serato Studio, make a beat. <laughs> and that's why I'm going to do it this way, this style. Let's proceed. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a beat with Serato Studio. It's, it's crazy. All right, let's just start with a simple drum pattern, okay? So I'm just kicking them, um, <laughs> kicking them. I'm clicking them in. So we got the kick, kick, snare, snare, clap, kick, snare. You're like, uh, what does that sound like, Joey? Well, it sounds like this. That really just happened. This was not plugged in. <laughs> That's a classic Joey move right there. Sorry about that. All right, right off the bat, I actually just made a hiccup and I've never made this mistake before. I don't know how this happened, but I soloed the track. So since I soloed the hi-hat track, the closed hi-hat, it only was playing that. So let's take that out. And now we're all good. See, we see all the colors. That means we are good to go. So that's a really basic beat. It almost sounds like some really old school, really old school hip hop sounding beat, almost pre hip hop era sounding. So this is what I want to do. All right. I want to kind of replace these sounds. So I could go into drums. I could go into one shots and then I could start looking for the type of sounds that I want to use uh, when I'm making the beat. So the kick, every time I click it, it lets me know what it sounds like. Find something here. Ooh, I like this. You know what? You could drag it right here. You see these are all my drum sounds. They're all right here. All the sounds. But if I want to change them individual, I just drag them to this side. Right here on the left side. Boom. 
So now that's my kick. And I think I want to change my tempo to like, I don't know, when I heard that kick, it just made me want to change it to a lot slower tempo. Let's do the same thing for the snare. Let's change the snare up. And you could use any sounds that you want. You could use your own sounds in here. But again, beginners that are just making a beat for the first time aren't gonna have like a plethora of drum kits. Let's just use the resources that they give us right here. It's all about showing you guys how easy this is. Um, let me go with the clap actually, instead of the snare. Yeah, let's go with that one. And this is a little more advanced, but you could actually change. You could change certain tonalities in the sound. You can mess with the frequency a little bit over here. Uh, the gain, that's basically the volume of the sound. Um, the high frequencies, the low frequencies, mid, filter, which is kind of like a frequency effect in itself, but it could really like drastically take away certain frequencies of the sound. And then you could change the release and attack. With sounds that are really this short, like a kick and a clap that are really like snappy you usually don't have to mess with that but that could be really helpful if you're doing some sampling or even like uh some like really sustained instruments attack and release that that could be like really helpful to use we probably won't use that during this video simplicity this clap here i'm not going to use two claps in a row in the beat Ooh, i like that rim snare right there let's use that boom Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. We're already on our way, baby. I'm gonna change that to a snare right there. And then check this out. If I use this little robot, we could really start getting control. We can do automation. So basically, we have more control over what happens at what point in terms of, oh, I don't know, gain, the EQ, volume, muting, uh, effects if you want to put some effects on. But yeah, basically everything. So so let's just do something simple here. Let's for the rim snare, let's just lower the volume a little bit so it doesn't hit as hard as like the claps and all that. Let's have it go up like actually now nah, let's have it go the other way. Descending volume on the rim snare. Mm-hmm. And we could even boost up the tempo just a little bit more. All right, hi-hat. I like that hi-hat. Let's take out all the lows out of the hi-hat. We don't need them in there. Hi-hats could be kind of sounding, a little too much sound in it. So let's take out the highs because that's where the, the syllabant sound is. See, it, it sounds a little cleaner now. And yeah, let's just start clicking in some notes. Maybe let's try one more perk just to throw in there. Some kind of like short for percussion. Perk just throws so many percussion, different percussion sounds into a category, but I think I like the click. Let's put the click in there. All these sounds are high quality. It's it's pretty cool that like they could have like drowned you with sounds, but they want to make sure they have the highest quality sounds possible in here. And that's great. And we could even turn up the swing a little bit, which here, I'll show you what it does drastically. <laughs> it literally like makes it like swing like da, 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 da. I don't want that too much. Let's just give it like a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh. Oh. The click sound. I'm going to lower that a little bit. It's a little loud. What we're going to do is just keep building on this beat a little bit. I'm going to keep it simple though for the sake of this video. Let's get some kind of instrument in here. We can scroll down, go to instruments. Ooh, dark short strings, I like that. Let's use one of those. And here are your notes right here. And you'll notice all these notes. Are all in the C minor key. So it's impossible to make this sound bad, I think. Bum 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 bum
But um, I scroll this down. <gasps> There's more notes. Dun, dun. And then it should go. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see if it did it. I still want that BPM to be a little bit higher. We're going to go all the way up to 79. That's too fast. Let's go 76. I like it. I think uh, we could actually get back to the robot here. Have that first one be loud. Second one a little quieter. These ones quieter. These ones even quieter. So it just keeps getting quieter basically. I think it's uh, way too drastic of a change. My bad. So that kind of goes to show how strong their automation system is. If you do it a little too much, it's going to be a very noticeable difference and it kind of modulates the sound a little bit. So good to know. Finally, I think the last thing that I want to just do on here is put in and if you watched my videos and seen my videos in the past, then you know I'm big on 808s. Let's get some 808s in here. Okay. That makes sense. It's in the instruments category, which it is. It's a bass, very modulated bass. Atlanta, sure, let's do it. A little knock to it all right so that's pretty much how you make the beat with it you what you could do after that is you could go into what's called song view and you see how it says intro this whole time I've been making the sequence for the intro but it's this has so many layers that it's not really an intro it's more like it's more like the hook are we gonna start the song off with just the hook no we're gonna move the hook over to here and we're gonna make an intro we're gonna hit copy and it copied this whole sequence so what I could do now for the intro, oops, itro, what's an itro? So now I could just take away all these sounds. I could strip all these sounds. Just hold down the, the mouse pad, get rid of them. And for the intro, I don't even want the 808s in there. As much as I love my 808s, uh, we don't need them in the intro. Gone, gone, gone. So now the hook, could place that right there place the intro right here and it's gonna be a pretty repetitive beat you know so we could just repeat the hook for a few measures bada bing bada boom and let's see how this sounds boom boom And uh, yeah, you you could go crazy with it. You could have a field day. This is just to give you an idea of what you could do. There's so many more things you could do. You could add effects to these sounds. You could put the reverb on them, delay on them. Most things that you could do in other production software, except extremely simplified, compact looking. You don't have to search all over the place on how to do something. Everything is like right in your face the whole time. They just did a really good job at making this really compact. It's really perfect for beginners, okay? It, it's just, I wish I had this years ago. When I first started, I wouldn't have wanted to return the software that I use now back to the store the night I got it. True story, by the way. If you want information on Serato Studio and if you want to download it, of course, I'll put a link right in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. Who would recommend Serato? Nada. Nah, but seriously. Shouts to Serato Studio. I think they got something dope here. You know what really roped me in? My favorite producer of all time, Just Blaze. I saw him using it. So I was like, okay, if he co-signs this, I got to give it a shot and I'm glad I did. For me personally, if I'm on the go and an idea comes to mind for a beat, but I can't for some reason work on it at that particular moment or go somewhere to work on it, 
I could just lay it down in here and then put on the finishing touches later. Like I I'm excited about this. I never get excited about like programs, the softwares, but this one's dope. And I hope anybody that's like just beginning, just starting out, this is how you start. So get on it. Can't wait to hear what you guys cook up. And next time you DM me, maybe you'll say instead of how do I get started, you'll say, hey, I got started. Check out what I made using Serato. Can't wait for that. Appreciate you guys watching. Nada.